Hello, this is Moon here, and today I got a big box of locks from Mr. Black Magic. He wanted me to do an unboxing, which is already well not going to work because I opened it, but I can do a bit of inventory. So here it goes. Here is a sticker from him, and there are lots and lots of locks. So here it is. There are the keys for the locks and the locks themselves. There is one Pollux lock. Quite a cool one. Then there is an Abus EC750. That's this one, I guess. Nope, it is not. Even though the key fits, that must be this one goes into the box. Next one, Abus Mintus or Bravus. Nope, it's not it. That must be that one. Abus D10. One more dimple lock. And another one, the Bravus. Where is it hiding? Here it is. Abus Mintus or Bravus. Then we have a bunch of challenge locks. That one is a made of scrap. Apparently coming from US, I guess. That's not the key for it. The key is somewhere else. I don't know where the key is, but let's put it aside. Cheapside HP. That's this one. I don't know why the keys are not mummified, but I will try and just not to look too much at them to not memorize them. And we'll see how those challenge looks go later on. Next, one of the challenge looks I already tried, picked, and got it. I'm not sure I will be making videos of it, but it was quite doable. Nice one. I'm not sure who this guy is. OE Jeffrey Post. But yeah, that challenge lock will be moving along. There is a Kryptonite disk detainer lock. There is another bag full of locks. And other goodies like dimple picks, which I do not have my own yet, so I borrowed them. Um, there is an abloy disk detainer lock. There is pin junior challenge lock from Yabende. There is bear something, I'm not sure what was the name. Bears back challenge lock, also without a mummified key. Keys, keys, more keys. Dom mini, I think it's called. Tiny little temple lock. Um, Yale, another dimple lock. Uh, well, the dome is not the smallest one. There is a Kaba, Kaba, whatever it's pronounced with. Kaba Micro. Oh, quite tight spring in there. And Ecol. One more dimple lock. Something to try out those tools with. But that's not the best part. The best part is that there are three challenge lock from Mr. Black Magic here and another lock I think it's from Rune or by Rune or given to Rune or something um, and they are all going to someone else after me and then to US but those are the 
previous ones. That's that one claims to be the tiniest log ever made. Well, a pretty one with some quite cool features made in Germany on 23rd of April of this year. This tiny little key and some tap screws sticking out of it. It will be fun finding the tools for it. But I might have an idea. Read me. I will not be reading it with you. Then Golden Sun and Silver Moon. One more challenge lock. That is a community project with Rune Picker. With some fancy story behind it about alchemy and whatnot, which is, I guess, repeated on challengelogs.org. So I will skip that too for now. And the jewel of this package, the breaker. The lock that is designed to break everyone and every tool who tries to open it. One more manual. Very, very long key. And the lock itself. Really, really pretty one. Based on, I think, SS700. Here you see all seven chambers, hidden keyway so that you cannot look inside, nice decorations. Um, it's already a month almost since it was made, but it just made to me. And the most scary part of it, the keyway. You can see that it will be quite tight in there. There is no space to put any tensioning tools. There is no space for the pick. But yeah, well, maybe one day someone will be able to open it. All right. I guess I will try my luck with that one, but I will start with something simpler first. Plenty of choice over here. So, really, really lots of cool challenge locks. And yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> 